Today I'll be sharing how I made a transformation of this lamp to make it look like a Chanel inspired purse. The items that I use for this transformation will be listed below in the description box. It was a very fun creation. It was my vision. I pray that it inspires someone to create on their own. If you'd like to see how I made this amazing transformation, just keep watching. Welcome to Spending Weekends with Mimi, and I'm Mimi. Well, YouTube family, I'm back. I've been away for a while, but I wanted to come back and share this creation with you. I purchased this lamp from my local Goodwill. The lamp actually didn't work. I didn't know that until I got home, but still I was able to use a few coats of white spray paint and finish it off with a clear glaze coat, add a lampshade to it, and try to transform this into something that I envisioned based on the design that was on the lamp. So again, the items that I'm going to use are going to be listed below in the description box, but here you actually see my trusted glue gun, some bling wrap and the hinges and the chain that I'll be using to make the strap for the purse. So the bling wrap, I cut it into strips. In fact, I used what I, I would say two lines of bling so that it would fit directly into the grooves on the design on the lamp. It was really hard keeping it straight, but I'm in love with this new glue gun I purchased, and this is not an advertisement, it is my personal uh, preference. Um, the, the Gorilla glue sticks and the guns, I, I'm actually in love with them, I'm obsessed with them. And there you saw me just trying the lampshade on the lamp prior to finishing it, just so I could see if it looked good, and it did, so I finished it off. It wasn't exactly straight, so I cleaned that up and also took a toothbrush, wiped off the little glue webs uh, that get left from the glue gun, and I decided to put a zipper on the top part of the lamp. And I do apologize the way that this was filmed because I initially released this on TikTok, so the filming that I did was a little different and right here I was actually struggling because my gimbal stopped working and I had to try to hold with one hand and struggle with the other hand so it's a little wonky right there but there I am showing where the appliques go on top of the lamp which I decided to do and after I added the zipper I decided to take those appliques and go all the way around the zipper to, um, to cover up the edges of the zipper and I know some people may have used a white zipper but I chose to use a black one because that's the one that I had and again this is just for inspiration it wasn't meant to be exact I did get these little latches um, and get them from Hobby Lobby and those latches I was just measuring right there to see where I was going to put them on the lamp once I finished with the appliques and to see if the chain would look okay on the lamp. You know a lot of the Chanel purses have the actual chains so that's why I decided to get a little piece of chain uh, from Hobby Lobby. So I'm finishing off there with the hot glue, finishing off the pearl appliques uh, to make a top to the purse. And now I'm adding the latches and the chain. And I decided not to just hot glue them, I decided to also use some E6000 since it's a very strong adhesive. And you know with E6000, it doesn't dry really fast, so I wanted to reinforce that uh, with my Gorilla Glue Sticks. And with those two together, 
this little latch nail is so hard on there I don't even know if, if I pull it up I think I would you know tear up all the applique and pull paint off of the lamp so this did make a very strong bond the hot glue just secured it while the E6000 was drying So YouTube family, this is how it's looking so far. And as I stated, um, the lamp didn't work, so I did add a napkin ring and a remote control uh, push light on the top of it so that it could still look and operate like a lamp once the lampshade was put on it. And this particular light, it does change colors, um, so it's kind of fun to play with, uh, especially at night, it looks amazing. But uh, normally I'm just going to keep it on the, the white setting because I wanted it to look as, you know, classy and black and white, just have the black and white color. So now it's time to add the Chanel symbols and I didn't have any lettering big enough. So I had these spandex um, chair sashes and I know that you can purchase them from e -Favor Mod, but I got them from a local store uh, in Mississippi and um, the circles seemed to me like the right size so I cut them and made C's out of them and there I am just trying to decide where I was going to put the C's once I put them together I thought about putting it to the side but I said well let me just go ahead and put it on the front in the middle just to keep it simple so I cut two of the circles, made them into the C-shaped Chanel symbols, and I hot glued them to the lamp. So this is it completed, and now it's time to add a lampshade. I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. I decided not to decorate the lampshade, but just put the word Chanel on the lampshade with the lettering. So here it is all complete, sitting in a black and white area in my home. And I think it looks really cute. I was really pleased with how it turned out. It's only for inspiration, not to look exactly like a purse, but to give you inspiration on how um, you know you can transform pretty much anything into what you would like so that's it but I thank you so much for watching if you'd like to see more of this please subscribe like share with others and until next time my YouTube family I'll be praying for you I thank you each and every time you visit this channel and stay safe I love you and ain't nothing you could do about it see you next time Thank mm -hmm. you.